Hello and welcome to Bike Nation, I'm Bryn Lucas. Now this is the Shark Open Line Helmet, it's the high-vis version as you can probably tell. There are other options available so have a look at Bike Nation to see all the different colour schemes that there are. This is a modular helmet or a flip front helmet, depends what you want to call it. And we're going to have a look at all the features over the next couple of minutes, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> Now, before we have a look at all the features, take a quick glance at the bottom of the screen where you'll find links to Bike Nation, to Twitter and Facebook and all the ways of getting in touch as well. Now, straight to this helmet, it's made from an injected thermoplastic construction. Now, it is great value for money, this helmet, but it's also quite heavy too, weighing at 1,750 grams. So it is fairly heavy. It's a lot to put on your head, of course, particularly for long journeys. So just bear that in mind if you are thinking about buying it, but it is a great helmet. It's very, very strong. It's very, very solid. Great construction too. Now I said at the beginning, it is a modular helmet or a flip front helmet. And all you have to do is raise it up using a little button at the bottom here around the chin area, press that and it lifts up to here. It stays in position too. Now you can't ride along with it in this position, of course. But what you can do is when you're paying for something like petrol or something like that, rather than having to take your helmet off, which is a complete pain in the you know what, you can flip this up, wander in, pay for your goods, flip it back down and get back on your bike and back on your journey, saving valuable time, of course. So it is a nice system, very, very easy to use. That button just there feels quite robust as well. Up it goes, slide it back in and it clicks into place and it won't lift up. So it's not the most advanced mechanism that holds it in place, but it is very, very strong. So there's also a nice aerodynamic design too. It's got a nice shape to it with a little peak at the back, which I'll come to when we have a look at the ventilation. But now let's have a quick look at the visor. Now this is a clear visor, as you can see. It's got a tab on the left-hand side. Raising and lowering it is very simple. It's pretty robust as well. It doesn't squirm around too much, which is quite nice. Now if you want to change the visor over, or if you want to give it a clean, or anything really, a nice system that Shark have designed is this. Little button in the middle, give it a press, slide the visor forward and out it comes. Do the same to the other side, the visor would come off completely. Give it a wash, change it over if you want to. Maybe you can also get tinted visors too, but not all tinted visors are road legal, so make sure you do check that out. Anyway, when you want to put it back on, all you have to do is simply line up the tab just here, slide it back in, it clicks into place and it's done. Nice and simple, there you go. Now you'll also notice you've got two tabs, one on this side and one on this side of the visor itself. And this has been designed to use with one of these, a pin lock insert lens. This is a fog resistant insert lens, fantastic bit of kit. And it's really nice as well because you get this in the box. So take this out of the box, put it in there. It won't mist up when you're riding along, which is a nice little bonus. Now I did mention about the tinted visors. You could get one if you want to, but this helmet doesn't require it because you've got an internal sun visor, a built-in sun visor, as you can see just there. It's quite hard to make out in this light, but sliding this lever backward and forwards would raise and lower the internal sun visor. And there's plenty of clearance behind the internal sun visor as well. So if you wear glasses, it won't get in the way, it won't clunk down onto them. You also have grooves in the padding for the arms of your glasses too, so it won't dig into your head. So that's a nice little extra feature. It's also scratch resistant as well. So you've got all those added bonuses. So you've got an outer visor, an internal visor, got a flip front feature. Let's now have a quick look at the ventilation. And we'll start by looking down here at the chin vent. Little rocker lever there opens and closes it. And when you open it, of course, it directs the cold air down into the front of the helmet across the inside of the visor. Helps to reduce fog and mist as well and keeps you awake when you're riding along, which is pretty important. But you also have a nice little vent on the top as well. Another rocker lever on the top just there, that directs the cold air inside this quite raised up area too. So it directs the cold air into the helmet itself. And what you can't see is all the internal channeling. There's loads of channeling. I'll have a look at it in a moment, of course, so you will be able to see it in a moment. But it directs all that cold air in and around your entire head, keeping you nice and cool and fresh when you're riding along. Also, you have two vents at the back just here. And what happens is, as the cold air goes around the helmet when you're riding along, it sucks the hot air out the back as well, and it does keep you cool when you're riding. It's really good to have that. But there's also other ventilation systems built into the lining too, so all the hot air can escape. So you've got all that function on the outside there. Let's now have a quick look at the inside. And we'll begin with what the pads are made of. They're made from a nice moisture wicking material, so it will draw the moisture away from your skin and keep you nice and fresh as you're going. You also have this ratchet system for the chin strap. You can get double D-lock systems, which are really great because you can adjust them a great deal. But a, 
Nice ratchet system, very simple to use. All you have to do is simply push in the ratchet there and then to release it, raise up this little red tab and off it comes. So it is nice and simple. Anyway, back to the pads. Moisture wicking, so draw the moisture away. Breathable too, you can see these little holes built into the pads there. So that draws the cold air in and keeps it nice and fresh as well. Also got this area here too. It's made of different materials. So you've got a nice waterproof area here, which will stop the rain getting in if it's a particularly wet day. And again, that keeps you dry. But this also stops noise getting in and the wind getting in as well. And the less noise you can get inside the helmet, the more you can hear about what's going on around you, which is really, really important. Now, over time, you might want to give these pads a little bit of a wash. You don't have to do it with the pads in place like so. That would be crazy chucking a bucket of water in there. All you have to do is simply pull them off. They've got these little poppers. Off this one comes. Got to kind of prise it through the strap itself. There's the first one. Et voila. Multilingual as well. There you go. That's the first one just there. Nicely done. Very simple too. Here's the other side. Going to get it through the strap too. Here we go. We need a blue Peter moment where there's one I made earlier, but sadly we don't have that. So there you go, that's the first one. Then you grab the front of the helmet itself and you pull off this area here. Off this one comes. It's all in one unit, by the way, this one. Sometimes the cheek pads are separate to the rest of it, but not with this one. Up this comes. There you go, and it all comes out as one very, very simple unit. And with it off, you can see what the uh, foam backing looks like, just how much padding you get. Very nice and thick too. That's all one piece, give it a wash, put it back in when you want to, when it's dry obviously, and you have a nice freshly smelling helmet. Now, let's have a look at the channeling. So I mentioned it earlier on, when you're riding along, you open the air vents, that cold air gets directed inside the helmet, and then inside the padding, underneath these pads here, the air gets channeled through these grooves to keep your head nice and cold, and it can escape at the bottom here as well. So I said about the internal ventilation, it does come out the bottom too. So you've got all that functionality with this helmet. It's a brilliant, brilliant helmet with all the features, and a great price point too, great value for money. It does come with the pin lock insert lens, which is a brilliant bit of kit, so I'm glad it's got one of those. And it also has a bag as well to keep it nice and protected when you're not using it. Now it also comes in a range of sizes. Have a look at the sizing guide, and if you've got any questions, give the Bike Nation team a call. It's really important you get the right size helmet for your head. Any orders of 25 pounds or more from Bike Nation also get free delivery, so do bear that in mind as well, so you get free delivery of this helmet here. There are other helmets on the market, so check out Bike Nation. We've got loads and loads of reviews for you. And also check us out on Facebook and Twitter and all the other social media as well. Until next time, do take care.